So it's athletes now. It's not guys putting on blazers and sitting on the side with a gin and tonic. If you've got a weakness on this boat, if you're not fit enough, if you can't anticipate, make quick decisions instinctively, you're just not going to cut it and it's going to be, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. You need to be at the top of your game athletically. And you'll see the training, the guys train, you know, twice a day and they need to or they just wouldn't be at the level. It's non-stop running, grinding, pulling ropes. Most of my mates are professional rugby players, a couple of them race cars. Uh, we've taken out professional football players on the back. They get on the back and they just cannot believe it. They say, this is harder than what we do. It's exactly like a 40 minute half of rugby. Physically, you're pushed to the edge the whole time. I mean, we've strapped heart, heart rate monitors on the guys. and Honestly, you look at the results and it looks like a couple of guys having heart attacks. The platform is always moving. You know, you're on a constant trampoline that gets, you get thrown around. You can be the strongest man in the world, but if you can't move well on your feet and if you can't anticipate what's coming up, you know, tactically, you're not going to make okay, it. Go now. One, four, eight, go. You could be the greatest tactician in the world, but if you can't, if you don't have the fitness level, if you can't get on the handles and help out on the boat handling side, you're not going to make it either. It's like a friggin' bare knuckle boxing match out on the water. I mean, it really is relentless. There's no, you know, no one pulls any punches and you do whatever it takes within the rules to win. I'll be um, surprised not to see any carnage out on the bay. These boats now, there's real risk. You know, you can see what's happened out on the water. So you can crash them hard, but you can capsize these boats. Everyone in the fleet has had a swim. Some guys have had more than others. Basically, if you're not getting close to capsizing, you're probably not pushing hard enough. I mean, race car drivers crash all the time. Why? Why do they crash? They're the best in the world. The reason is because they push, and they're just trying to get everything they can out of that car, and we're no different in these boats. Like it always does. Always does.